the learning of Asaph. God, why hast thou put us away into the end? Thy strong vengeance is wroth on the sheep of thy pasture. Be thou mindful of thy gathering together, which thou hadst in possession from the beginning. Thou again boughtest the rod of thine heritage, the hill of Zion, in which thou dwellest therein. Raise thine hands into the prides of them, how great things the enemy did wickedly in the holy place. And they that hated thee had glory in the midst of thy solemnity. They set at their signs, either banners, to be signs on the highest place, as in the outgoing, and they knew not. As in a wood of trees, they hewed down with axes the gates thereof into itself. They casted down it with an axe, and a broad falling axe. They burnt with fire thy sanctuary. They defiled the tabernacle of thy name in earth. The kindred of, the, kindred of them said together in their heart, Make we, all the fast, make we all the feast days of God to cease in the earth. We have not seen our signs. Now there is no prophet, and he shall no more know us. God, how long shall the enemy say despite? Shall say despot. The adversary stirreth to the ire of thy name into the end. Why turnest thou away thine hand to not draw out thy right hand from the midst of thy bosom? till into the end. For sooth God our King before worlds wrought health in the midst of earth. Thou madest from the sea by the virtue. Thou, ha thou hast troubled the heads of the dragons in waters. Thou hast broken the head of the dragon. Thou hast given them to be meat to the peoples of Ethiopians. Thou hast broken wells and strands. Thou madest dry the floods of Eltan Item. The days of thine and the night, the day is thine and the night is thine. Thou madest the morrow tide and the sun. Thou madest all ends of the earth, summer and ver time, either springing time. Thou formest those. Be thou mindful of this thing. The enemy hath said shame to the Lord, and the unwise people hath excited to ire thy name. But take thou not to beast men, acknowledging to thee, and forget thou not into the end the souls of thy poor men. Behold into thy testament, for they be made dark of earth, be filled with the houses of wickednesses. A meek man be not turned away, made ashamed. A poor man and needy shall praise thy name. God, rise up, deem thou thy cause, be thou mindful of thy shames either upbraidings of those that be all day of the unwise man. Forget thou not the voices of thine enemies, the pride of them that hate thee ascendeth ever.